Good morning, my darlings. We have got our first frost of the year. And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it feels rather magical. I wish I had time to head out for a walk this morning because I always think the fields look so beautiful. When there's been a frost, the euphorbia is looking a little bit sad and crunchy. The morning sun hasn't risen yet, but there's a glow on the church. And everything looks very festive. No more blooms left in the border. Just greenery. Oh, it's cold. I need coffee. Good morning, Dixie. You snuggled up by the Argo. You're lovely. I adore you. Okay, I've made my morning coffee and I'm going to try for the first time this Naked Biotics Vegan Raw and Natural Daily Bacteria shot that I picked up at Dalesford a few days ago. It says to work your way up to 30 mil every morning, but start with 10 mil, which I think is like that much, is it? I'm just gonna pour myself a mini shot in here and give it a try. I'm not... Do I have 10 mil? No. That 10 mil? Who knows? Oh, it smells quite nice actually. Right, wish me luck. I'm more scared of this than I am of an alcohol shot. Oh! Oh! Vinegary. Has this got apple cider vinegar in it? Chamomile, rosehip, olive leaf, elderberry, Siberian ginseng, purified and structured water, fruit, food grade cultures. It's really not that bad though, so if that actually helps with my digestion and my bloatedness, that could be a bit of a game changer, so I'll keep you posted. Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to Vlogmas. Day... Nine. <laughs> There's a 50% chance it's actually Vlogmas Day 10, but... No, I'm pretty sure it's Vlogmas Day 9. Today I am very much looking forward to heading into London. It's going to be a really lovely day today from a, a weather perspective and a mindful <laughs> perspective. Ooh. Today is a London day, so I'm very shortly heading to the train station. Very shortly, in fact. I need to leave in about 15 minutes and I look like this currently. Not ideal. Never mind, if I miss this train I get another train 11 minutes later, so today it's not the end of the world. Um, yes, heading into London to get my hair done today. I've not even brushed my hair this morning, so I'm very sorry about that. As you can see, a little bit of darkness around the roots, um, and I just want the whole blonde to be, like, lifted, so that I look a little bit more fresh, a little bit more, you know, a little bit of fresh hair for Christmas. So I'm just going to, um basically be sat in the hairdresser's chair all day, or for a few hours at least, which I'm really looking forward to because I just want to get lots of emails done, get lots of editing done, and I am a very productive client in a hairdressing chair, which is wonderful. My morning skincare is something new that I have been trying out for a couple of weeks now. It's from Shiseido. It's um, actually a very, very exciting range. Um, I'm actually gonna whiz you back in time to last night because there's a little bit more kind of science, if you will, about this skincare range. So let's just super quickly whiz back to last night when I applied the night serum. <laughs> Good evening, my darlings. A bit of a funny throwback at the beginning of this vlog. And yes, I just moved that lamp because then you can look at the lamp instead of the toilet behind. But how how else does one film in a bathroom, right? Anyway, lamp and <laughs> bathroom antics aside, I have a very exciting skincare duo to share with you. And this may pique your interest if you are of an age or skincare desire of wanting to prevent those signs of aging. Maybe you have thought about fillers or you maybe you haven't but you can appreciate um, the benefit that they have for the powers of anti-aging. Well, this product can be used as an alternative to fillers or it can be used alongside 
fillers, but the results are pretty comparable, which is absolutely insane. The duo is from Shiseido, and it's called the Bioperformance Skin Filler Serums. The reason that I have thrown you back in time is because the magic really begins with the night serum. So I'm going to pop this on and then I'll explain to you why it is quite so astronomical. Super duper lightweight serum. I've just popped two pumps on my hand on clean skin and then in half an hour or so I will follow with my night cream just because I do have a very leisurely evening skincare routine. You can see instantly Oh my goodness, my skin looks juicy. It's super duper hydrating. And the reason why this is so hydrating and therefore so powerful and anti-aging is because Shiseido have quite literally mastered hyaluronic acid within this incredible duo. Shiseido as a brand have got over 30 years of insane experience when it comes to researching skincare. <clears throat> and it's no secret that hyaluronic acid is the ingredient that you very much need to look for if you want to make your skin look plump and juicy and young and fresh and glowy. If your skin is hydrated from within, which hyaluronic acid molecules can help to do, then it means that um, not only do you look healthy and glowy and all the rest, but what hyaluronic does is by hydrating your skin cells, your skin cells will be able to perform their best job. Think about it, if you were super dehydrated, would you be able to go about your day and perform at your best? No, and your skin cells are exactly the same and dehydrated skin can look dull, it can accentuate fine lines and wrinkles, so we really want to get the most out of hyaluronic acid within our skincare routines. So as well as other magical ingredients, the Infill Serum Night from Shiseido, from this new power duo, what it does is it infuses your skin with hyaluronic acid particle, pa particles, <laughs> particles. Within this, this is the sciencey bit, there are compacted high molecular weight hyaluronic acid particles and by some magic from their extensive research and history of research, Shiseido have a design, I think they call it their molecular shift, hyaluronic acid particles. So when you apply the night cream, they go into your skin and they're tiny so they can penetrate into your skin. And then by the Shiseido magic, they then expand within your skin. And that is why the two need to go together because you apply the serum at night and they go in in their small form, deep penetrating into the skin. And then they are able to expand in the morning with your morning serum. So these two products are inseparable. I have been testing this out for about two weeks now, which is obviously not the hugest amount of time, but I have to say I am very, very happy with the results so far. I feel like my skin is looking pretty good at a time when I've been eating not very well. I am pretty dehydrated from the flying, so everything is actually pitted against my skin right now, and yet it's looking good. And the only other thing that I have changed is using these serums. So from an early point of view, I'm seeing great results. What I would also say is that these Shiseido have thought about sustainability, they are refillable, so you're saving a lot of plastic from the fact that you can actually just get um, new little cartridges for these. And let me tell you some of the insane results that people have experienced. So Shiseido say that the shift, molecular shift Technology offers an instant voluminizing, volumizing effect in just one day. Skin looks five years younger. That's insane. 93% of women feel the skin is voluminized. 91% of women feel the skin is bouncy. 82% say fine lines are less visible. And 80% 80, 80 say deep wrinkles are less visible. That is pretty sensational results. So essentially what Shiseo have done has, is they've been able to adapt the shape and size of the hyaluronic acid molecule without altering its impact because we want it to be small to penetrate into the skin but then we want it to get bigger and voluminize itself to really have that impact of making our skin look plump and juicy and voluminous. Very, very clever. I will leave a link down below so you can read a little bit more about it because I know that it's quite, it's quite um, a lot to wrap your head around. All I know is that 
when I use this dream combination my skin looks glowy my skin looks plump it looks juicy and at the end of the day <laughs> that is what what I want to get from my skincare and if I'm able to get some long-lasting anti-aging benefits from this duo then I am very very happy with that so if you are looking to get that look um, that some people get from fillers that kind of plumped up look maybe you want to keep it a little bit more natural you don't want to go whole hog to actually go and get fillers um, this is a fantastic alternative at home or you can use alongside fillers if that is already a route that you are going down so as far as including this in my personal evening routine you can use it alongside your active ingredients you just need to make sure this is the last serum that you apply before your night cream and then in the morning on clean skin I don't know whether I'll have done it already in this vlog that you've seen or if I'm about to do it. Um, you want to apply your full expansion serum as the first thing onto clean skin so that it can really get into your skin's layers and plump up the hyaluronic acid that your night serum has infused your skin with. So insane technology and also both just really lovely products to apply. Hopefully you might be able to see there the consistency as well of the morning serum. If I had all the money in the world. Shiseido, I would love it if you bring out a hand version of this because <laughs> I love to do anti-aging routines for my hands as well. Both of these products just sink into the skin straight away. They truly are so um, absorptive. And that's definitely a word that I've made up. But anyway, darlings, I'm going to get to bed. No doubt I will be grumbly pre-morning coffee when you next see me. Um, but I've got a great day planned for tomorrow. So without further ado, let's get back to um, real time Josie. And we are back. Good morning once again. So essentially, the morning serum helps... Um, I just don't know how they do it. Shiseido is one of these brands where they look into the molecular chemistry is that the, the term of the ingredients that they're using to such a high level and the morning serum actually helps to reactivate the hyaluronic acid that was in your super intense nighttime serum i am most definitely at that stage where i do want to be looking at anything I can do to my skin from an anti-aging point of view. And using these two together, it is basically the dream team to really maximize the impact of those ingredients that hopefully we can get the full benefit within our skincare. I'm just gonna pop on my moisturizer and my makeup, and then it's time to get on the train to London. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Oh, I should not sing before. I've had my morning coffee, but we have woken up to a rather perfect frosty morning. It would be an amazing morning to send the drone up today, but I've got to go to London. Ooh, I think, I think it's radish that they're fertilizing the field with opposite. Very crispy radish this morning. London. Well then heck, it is so cold. It is absolutely freezing in town today. I'm glad I bundled up, got my cashmere on, and it is such, about to get dazzled, such a glorious day. I'm a little bit early, managed to catch the earlier train, so I'm gonna head to Pratt, treat myself to some nice festive beverages, um, and then I'm gonna be sitting down in the hairdresser's chair for probably two or three hours, and my legs and my bum are gonna be killing afterwards after yesterday's leg session, but never mind. Let's head into town. Okay, I'm a happy 
bunny because I have got my oat milk chai latte. It's just something very festive and warming and comforting about your favourite hot drink. Um, and something else I picked up in Pratt is 10 10 pound um, vouchers, which this is something that Charlie and I have been doing for the last couple of years. It was actually an idea that was given to us by one of Charlie's old bosses when he used to work in advertising. Um, and what we like to do is just buy a handful of vouchers from your favourite coffee place and hand them out to anyone that you feel really needs it. It could be somebody that unfortunately is um, on the street, doesn't have a cosy warm house to go back to, anyone that you feel could do with a bit of a pick-me-up. I feel like at this time of year, you know, not everyone is, not everyone is in the position to be able to do this and I totally appreciate that and this is not like a you need to go out and do this right now but if you do feel that you are in a position that you might be able to make someone's day then you know it's just it's a nice thing to do and it's good good karma so yeah just just a nice little idea so i've got those in my in my handbag ready to go in case i see anybody that could do with um a nice warm drink or something to uh something to enjoy on this very chilly day it's um the shops are just opening on Marlebone High Street now, so I'm going to do a tiny bit of shopping. Well, I'm not really going to do shopping, I'm just going to look in a few windows. I'm going to mooch around slowly because I've got 20 minutes until my appointment. So, let's go! I think Marlebone High Street is one of the most beautiful and festive high streets in London, especially on a day like today. Christmas trees on Marlebone High Street. I think this is my favourite store on Marlebone High Street. It always looks so festive. Order your Christmas turkey. Beautiful. Made it to the best hair salon in London. Just thought I'd give you a little before. Wow. Still got a bit of oil in my hair from my treatment last night, but I'm gonna have a full head of colour. You can see I'm quite dark at the roots at the moment. Definitely in need of, <laughs> great hairstyle. Definitely in need of some color love from Bernie. What? Okay, my darlings, please excuse my face because I just feel like when I sit in the hairdresser's chair, something about sitting in that chair makes your ma makeup completely melt off so it has <laughs> completely vanished um, but hair colour is looking amazing Bernie does such a good job of just getting such fine highlights so it looks so natural it's just the perfect colour didn't have time for blow dry because um, we have got our special advent event this evening um, but I will show you my hair properly styled tomorrow but at least in this daylight you can see how fabulous the colour looks no more roots hallelujah and now i need to dash and hopefully catch the 3 30 train at the station made it to the station just in time to head to pret i was never obsessed with pret when we used to live in london but now that i don't have them on my doorstep in the cotswolds i try and pop into one <laughs> anytime i'm in london and we've got the goods pret mac and cheese okay my darlings worst lighting ever because it is pitch black outside i literally left home before the sun rose and I'm gonna be back home again after sunset. That is, that is winter for you. Um, it's only half four and it's pitch black outside and blooming freezing. I need to just sit in here while the car defrosts itself. But oh my goodness, what an eventful car journey, the uh, train journey that was. They cancelled two of the carriages, so all of the people on that semi-rush hour, well, not really, but, you know, busy train, were crammed into two carriages, and it's a popular route, so I stood up the entire way home. About two stops before my stop, someone did actually offer me a seat when they stood up to get off, but I was like, no, no, I don't worry, I'm fine now, and I'm getting off at the next stop, and then when the next stop happened I realized oh that's not my stop and then I just felt really awkward because everyone was like aren't you getting off and I was like no I 
got it a bit wrong, sorry. So that was just a bit awkward, so I was feeling a bit flustered, still managed to do a bit of editing, stood up with my laptop, um, just like holding it on my arm, but not ideal. And then I did something really strange. <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying to keep the light on. I think I just got to a point of like hysteria and I was scrolling through my phone, sorting out some photos, and I came across this video here of Dickens and I thought this might just cheer people up. So I, okay, this is so weird and <laughs> maybe my behavior is a little bit unacceptable here. You be the judge of that. But I decided to airdrop that video <laughs> to random people on the train. Oh my gosh, what got into me? What gave me that idea? I do not know. I've done it to like friends and family members on um, aeroplanes in the past. Oh my gosh, my windscreen is properly frosted. Um, yeah, I've done it to family members on aeroplanes before, but I've never done it to strangers. And I tried to keep a straight face and not let anyone know that it had come from me. And I could see people like receiving it and showing their friends and then looking around to be like, who did that? So if anyone was on that train, and received a video of Dickens. You're welcome! <laughs> um, yeah, I hope it made a few people smile because personally, if someone airdropped me randomly a video of their dog, I, I would be thrilled. But maybe some people are cat people and would not appreciate it. Anyway, enough rambling. I really need some lip balm. I've got a cow shed lip balm in here. What is everyone's favorite like hardcore winter lip balm by the way? Because I need something a little bit more intense now that it's getting really cold. Because I read an article and it said one of the worst things that you can do is lick your lips. But now that it's so cold, I feel like I'm constantly lip smacking. So let me know your favorite lip balms down below. Right, I need to whack my aircon on full blast to clear my windscreen um, and I'll see you back home. Hello again darlings. Back home again now after a lovely drive, albeit dark, the moon was out illuminating the fields and it is still very very beautiful out there. So it still feels frosty or maybe it's melted and it's refrosted. Who knows? All I know is that it's very, very chilly outside. Charlie has made me a cup of mint tea. It's got a bit of a sore tummy. And I think it's actually abdominal, like muscular pain. Because after we got back from, not Singapore, Nashville, um, the Pilates session that I did with Alex was quite an intense one. And there was a lot of, a lot of abs and I do not normally do abs at all. So it feels like like if I had abs, it feels like the top abs are aching. So I'm not sure that the mint tea is gonna cut it. I'm gonna put some muscle soak in the bath very shortly. Charlie's promised that he's going to run me a bath later. Um, but it's actually only half past five. We have got chicken wraps being prepared in the kitchen by his lordship. Slight change of plan. So we were meant to be going, actually I'm not gonna tell you what we were meant to be doing. We were meant to be going out and doing something very fun, but very much outdoors and fairly active, as in lots of walking, nothing more than walking, um, tonight as the advent thing. I did know about this one before, can't remember how I found out. I think I, I, tried, I tried to book it myself and then Charlie was like, that might be one of the advent things. And then he was really stressed that I was going to be too long in London getting my hair done, so he told me what it was. Anyway, that's not happening because Charlie's been quite stressed today, quite exhausted from lots of bits going on at the house. So um, that is going to get rearranged, which is not a problem. We also have got friends coming over tomorrow. In fact, from tomorrow, it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a really, really fun couple of days. Friends that I think most of you will be very familiar with, lots of friendly, familiar faces. And I do need to do a little bit of house prep, recipe prep, um, bedroom prep, tonight so I want to get as much done tonight as possible so I'm not too stressed about the fact that we're not going out not the end of the world in the slightest um I also wanted to do a little bit of a not really a what's new in my wardrobe but kind of like a a new in little segment because I've got quite a few new bits which have just kind of come in slowly but surely and I've not shared them with you um so I'm going to do that now however <laughs> caveat I'm afraid I can't be bothered to try anything on, so there won't be any try-on segments. It's just gonna be me, it's gonna be a show and tell. So let me show and tell you about some new things. Okay, let's get started, itchy schnoz, with 
Holland Cooper, oh my goodness. I have quite a few little bits and bobs here to share with you. Oh, sorry, I didn't I didn't get them to do anything, I think I explained earlier, with my hair upon leaving, so I left the salon with slightly damp hair because I was really rushing to get that very crowded train home. Um, if you can hear noises in the background, by the way, it is church bell practice night tonight. Um, and I think sadly at the moment they're practicing funeral bells. So hopefully it's not too distracting. So Holland Cooper very kindly sent me a second scarf, identical to one that I already have, not an accidental duplicate, but I, if I can find the photo, I'll pop it here. Jade Holland Cooper, founder of the brand, she wore a Holland Cooper trench coat with two of these scarves worn long ways, and then they were tied just very subtly in the middle at the back so that it looked like one really, really long scarf. And I really <laughs> wanted to recreate that look. So they very kindly sent over a second scarf. There are of course so many things you can do with these, whether it's tie them around your handbag, put them up in your hair. I would give you a demonstration, but um, I feel like I'll do it when I've got a proper face of makeup on and look a little bit more glamorous. <laughs> then Holland Cooper, recently launched these very handy style of handbags. Not gonna lie, giving me Major Longchamp vibes, which I love. I find them very practical, but I've actually never owned one of those iconic Longchamp bags. This one is so handy because it's actually ginormous. It's kind of like a weekend bag size. Um, but then if you're not using it at the time, then you can just fold it down. I saw, who was stories was I watching earlier? I think it was Naomi Smart. She took a spare suitcase <laughs> with her to Pista Village in preemption. Is that the word? Preemption? Premonition? Pre no, she was preempting. Preempting that she was gonna buy a lot. Well, say for example, I went for like a weekend away and I thought I might end up coming home with more than I took with me then taking this with you, like that takes up no room in your luggage whatsoever. That would be, if you know someone that often goes on holiday or on work trips and then ends up having to buy a second suitcase because they didn't, you know, <laughs> they bought a little bit more than they bargained for, then this would be a really good gift idea. Very practical. I just changed the lighting and I don't know which I prefer. Artificial light and me <laughs> do not get along very well. Um, but then there is the smaller one. No, it's too yellow, isn't it? Whatever, <laughs> we're back to where we started. My half up and half down style looks so much better now that I've had my hair coloured. You know what's really funny? I've just been, um, it's not even that funny, this is just how my mind works. I was looking through some photos that need editing that we took with Jake yesterday um, that I'm gonna send to Kat to edit and I saw this one and don't know if you can see, but my hair in this photo looks half blonde on one side and half dark on the other side, exactly like Dickens. Dickens, my sweet little baby, let me find you a photo of him for reference. Um, I'll just pop a photo on the screen here. He's also light on one side and dark on the other, and I never thought that I was, but you know, he clearly is my child because we both are naturally light on one side, dark on the other. Am I mad? Yes, definitely. <laughs> normal, normal sized um, handbag from Holland Cooper. I'm really glad they did this design. I think it's, they're just such useful bags. And I'm gonna keep this one in my car as a shopper bag. Um, oh, just so useful. It's almost like, it feels almost water resistant on the lining. Um, totally plain on the inside, no pockets or anything. Oh, I just love it. I'm gonna get so much use out of that. So thank you to the Holland Cooper team. Thank you, Lizzie, for sending and organizing those. And then we also have, goodness me, how lucky ducky am I, two of their new design bags, which are so beautiful. I am a big bag kind of gal. I love a big bag and this is pretty darn large. Uh, this will probably fit a MacBook Air, probably not my editing laptop. Um, opens up super wide, you've got a big zippy pocket, and I mean the quality that you get with Holland Cooper. Oh, thank goodness they've started playing wedding bells. <laughs> no more funeral bells. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this really rich kind of crock print leather. 
gorgeous hardware as always. You've got the studs. I mean, when you think, like, let's be real here. When you think about the cost versus what you get with this bag versus the cost of what and what you get with a Dior book tote, it's just kind of laughable, isn't it? Like, I love Dior, but let's be honest. It, I, I know I literally just bought myself the dual book tote and I, I don't have any regrets because I love it and obviously I've used it loads I used it today but I do hate getting ripped off <laughs> I really do and it's just like so much money for a bit of fabric anyway we have got another pair of boots from Holland Cooper and look at the detail on these as well you have got this lovely quilted section oh and also you do oh there zip yourself in and out so they're really easy to get on and off super fluffy on the inside i cannot wait to wear these gotta say though as a very affordable alternative i'm gonna pop a picture up on the screen here i have do i still have them i'm sure i must do um these boots that I love from Amazon, they are $34.99 and I just ordered myself the khaki version of them and they might arrive tomorrow, which I'm very much looking forward to, but for the, the luxury and fabulous quality option, I do adore these, but they may not be to everyone's budget, so I will leave the Amazon um, boots down below because I can attest to the fact that they're very good quality and very lovely, but oh my goodness, I just felt the inside of these. Oh, that is so soft. That is heavenly. That feels like Dickie. Oh, my sweet little boy. I want to go and sit downstairs with him, so I'm going to hurry things up a little bit here. This next bit should be called Random Show and Tell with Josie. Random Vlogmas Show and Tell with Josie. Let's start with this pile of random bits. Okay, this next item. <laughs> oh my gosh. It resembles that kind of sponge that you do your washing up with. <laughs> Honestly, it's, um, I saw it on the website having picked up um, something similar-ish to this in the boutique. It's just hilarious how much this is reminding me of my washing up brush. It's literally washing up brush texture. You can make one of these out of your spare washing up brushes. Can you see it's literally like that kind of Anyway, <laughs> suffice to say I won't be keeping this and I think I must have just been having a mad moment. Totally bonkers. Would it even fit my phone? Oh, it would to be fair. <laughs> Ridiculous. Right, on to brighter, <laughs> brighter subjects. Okay, Maison Margot is now stocked on Netta Porter, which is fabulous news because I love their stuff and it's just super easy to like whack it into your Netta Porter order. Christmas napkins. Christmas napkins. How stunning are these? I love a plain white napkin at Christmas. You can really, sorry, it's really bothering me that one of my sleeves is down, the other one isn't. It looks lovely when it's just like tied up with a nice ribbon. Um, but I loved the gold embroidery on these. Very simple, but very, very, very pretty. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So did I order 12? Eight, right. I need to order four more. <laughs> Great maths, Josie. And then the tablecloth, I think I thought this was green. Not a huge fan of blue um, tablescapes, so I think I must have seen the wrong colour here. So I think I will send that back, unfortunately, because, yeah, I just never really do blue tablescapes. Next is a Burberry scarf, and who was I watching? Ooh, was it Fleur? I think it might have been Fleur, put it in her Christmas gift guide, and she was saying it's nice because it's, it's a lovely quality scarf, um, but... It's not too branded. I mean, <laughs> obviously if you walk around like a football hooligan, it looks pretty branded, but if you just let it flop down, it's not. However, I feel like I'm just in a very brutally honest mood. I'm sure this is a really lovely wool. Yeah, 100% wool scarf. Oh, I'm not that blown away by the softness. I mean, my Holland Cooper scarves are softer and if spending lots of money on a designer scarf, I want it to be softer than Dexter's tummy. Because Dickie's tummy often has dried leaves like crisped up in it and you don't want that in your scarves. I want it to be softer than Dexie's tummy and that is not. So, not gonna keep that one. Right, next is an outfit that I might wear tomorrow. I had had these theory leggings on my wish list for a very long time. Black Friday sale came along and 
they are mine. So they are buttery soft, absolutely gorgeous. I hope they're going to fit. They look quite mini. Um, got a size four, but I think it's US four or European four because I am not a size four and they do look about the right size. So hopefully they're gonna fit really nicely. And then I've been really enjoying Ralph Lauren items lately. You'll have seen my lovely plaid dress um, and something else I got from there lately. Oh, I'm actually probably gonna send it back. It's like a polo neck dress, but a polo shirt knitted cable dress. Not quite right, but anyway, I saw this on Netta Porter from Ralph and I thought it was just really, you know, quite like British heritage with the with a crest on it. Does look like a royal crest, probably a Ralph Lauren made up crest. Um, but I just thought that was really nice. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. So I'm gonna try that on with the leggings probably tomorrow. If by the time I edit this, I've got a try on clip, I'll insert that now, but it's fairly likely that I won't. And then two more random things as part of my show and tell. I am a little obsessed with Erin. As you know, it is, well, you may not know actually, Erin Lauder is Estee Lauder's daughter. And I adore the brand Erin. I bought this for myself when we were in Palm Beach, when I was there with Freddie. The store there was very hard to find, but boy oh boy was I determined to find it. Everything that they do, I just adore. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that brings back fragrant memories of Palm Beach. And they also do the most beautiful homeware. This is a jewelry box. Now I have got a lovely jewelry box downstairs, but I don't have anything up here. So I thought I might have a little look at this. I thought it was gonna have a lining to it. I thought it was gonna have, you know, the bits where you can like wedge your rings in, but it doesn't, it's actually completely empty. That's annoying, but it is very cute and it would look lovely up on my shelves. Very, very cute. Fun fact, my friend Rory works in um, home buying and he knows the wholesalers. <laughs> I feel like I'm really being quite brutal to lots of brands in this video. He knows the wholesalers that provide the jewelry boxes to Erin and he was telling me the cost price and the markup and I know that that's just how retail works, but makes me really want to launch a jewelry box brand because let me just tell you, they're making a good, good business there. The last thing that I have to show you in this really random show and tell is actually the most important thing and the loveliest thing because it's something that was made for me by one of my lovely followers and she drove, I think it was either two and a half or three hours to come down to the Piano Guys concert in Nashville. And fortunately, we bumped into each other at half time. Lovely Jennifer, if you're watching, you have no idea how much this meant to me. I was quite emotional <laughs> for the second half of the performance and it was so lovely to meet you. And I'm so honored that you spent the time to create this beautiful, festive cross stitch for me. Look how gorgeous this is. Ho, ho, ho. You got Santa's reindeers. Looks like, is it? I'd love to know what city this is. Is it a fragment of your imagination? Is it, is it Franklin, Tennessee? Is it London? Who knows? It looks like the most gorgeous festive town. The amount of time that has gone into this, time, love and care. I feel like I want to frame it and have it as like a festive piece of artwork in a future nursery or something. Um, yeah, so that truly means the world to me. We actually bumped into quite a few people that watched the videos at the Piano Guys concert, which was surreal and really, really lovely. I always, I just find it quite like pinch me when I meet people in real life that watch the videos, especially in far flung places. So if you do see Doris over here or Charlie bumbling about, then never be afraid of coming up and saying hello. Even if I've got a resting bitch face on and I look like I'm really angry, I'm probably not. I just, when my face relaxes, I do look angry. Like that's my relaxed face. <laughs> How tragic is that? Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that little random show and tell. I'm now gonna head downstairs, have my chicken wraps, and show you some floral updates, and probably gonna watch some Gavin and Stacey. Snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday 
Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year. So I also returned home to a few more floral touches in here that the girls put up while I was in London. We have got these two beautiful sconces either side of the fireplace. I hope they'll survive <laughs> given how much heat the stove kicks out but that's a really nice subtle festive touch without going too overboard again using the same bits inside each sconce as we've got everywhere else in the house so the pink pepperberry the pheasant feathers the spruce the dried hydrangea it just all ties in so beautifully and looks really lovely hanging from the light fittings also added some of the flowered dried hydrangeas and then we've got my lovely flowered um what's this one called forever festive display down here and they just tie in together really really nicely however we did have some bad news dicky about the archway floral structure excuse dicky rolling around in the foreground plan was to have a beautiful archway with little lights twinkling away inside over this area however it turns out that it just would have been too heavy and we would have had to have put too many hooks in the U crossbar and down here and it just wasn't going to work without adding loads and loads of hooks into the kitchen so I'm very disappointed um, and the ladies have of course already made up the sections for the archway so I think I'm going to get a third opinion Martin came over today our usual handyman and wonderful chap at doing everything in the house and he suggested that we did need about six to eight hooks <laughs> Dickens. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get some other opinions, see if maybe command hooks like loads of those could do the trick because I really do think that it would look absolutely spectacular. So if anyone's got any genius ideas, I will show you the pine fur sections in the morning when we've got some daylight. But for now, we're going to have some chicken wraps for dinner. The boys are going to have their mad moment and our festive, tra festive tradition of watching Gavin and Stacey from the first episode is going to resume realize they're actually in here and not outside so here are the pieces so we've got the two uh, downward lengths here i just said to charlie that i'm filming him yeah. instead of vice versa because i've taken my makeup off there, I've got my, what, actually my oil on my nose. it's looking a bit better it is looking a bit better this actually isn't bile i just realized i've been using bio oil but my mum had um well she had something that was suspected cancerous removed off her back didn't she Good, good thing to check your moles. I think it was a mole she had from me. Mm. She was each had quite a big scar. And oh god, I have to go look up what the product's called, but it's like a gel. And since I started using that, it has improved a lot. Really? It is going to scar. It's definitely, I'm going to have a small scar on my mm. nose, but it is what it is. I think ironic. a few people, it's really annoying that we actually didn't think to check for something in America for you. But it's ironic, isn't it? Because the stuff my scars is so and stronger. injuries are actually never rugby related. <laughs> <laughs> After playing rugby for like 20 years of my life, mm. touch wood, I've never actually had any like really bad Well, you scars. had your thumb. Well, I've broken my hand and like I've broken my wrist, I've dislocated my shoulder, but not like scars. Right, yeah. Um, nothing sort of major, just dislocations. Yeah. Um, right. So we're both a bit tired, aren't we? However, it is your advent calendar. Mm hmm moment. So have you swapped this? Have you already told your vlog that we're... I said that we were meant to be going out and that you were a bit exhausted from today. Yeah, we no, we came to the conclusion tonight. It's also... I haven't sub, said what it was meant to be. Okay, well, also it's sub-zero outside. Yeah. And it was an outside experience. And in the UK, when it goes under sub-zero for all the American followers, we lose our minds. Because <laughs> it is very cold. It's not the American <laughs> the followers. It's the, like, Nordic well, followers. Tr true, That yeah. are like, minus one, that's <laughs> nothing. Yeah, true. Actually, I went to Prague at Christmas about what 15 years ago or something and it was like minus 20 or something <gasps> it was mental it was actually oh my mental. gosh i think the coldest i've normal. done is minus i think it was like minus seven in new york it might have been more like that actually and i thought my eyeballs were going to freeze solid i kept moving my eyes because i thought my eyeballs were going to freeze it hurts your lungs doesn't yeah it? But yeah because we're not used to it mm. anyway um so i've moved i've rejigged it and we will maybe try and do what we were meant to do tonight another night but this was a gift later on in the calendar i have to be a bit agile with it okay so but actually i'm hope I, this was a gift that i wanted to be early on in the calendar because i think you'll get lots of use out of it so oh, okay please right menace. i will hand you this <clears throat> just everyone please ignore my here we go okay. <laughs> <clears throat> well this is a real youtube channel it's an unedited version of our life. I do edit these videos. Yes, but in terms of makeup and things yeah. like this, it's not always necessary. Imagine if I didn't edit the vlogs. I just shoved all the clips Well, together. it would be hours, wouldn't it? 
Your it would be me rambling right. for hours. Day number seven, <laughs> we'd be here for about nine hours as well. We'd be trying to find all the numbers. I can see it. Number eight. Uh, you can see it. You put the thing there. Well, no, but it's actually weirdly. Well, it's before number six. <laughs> no, no, before <laughs> number six. <clears throat> okay. Way, what's Dexter written well, this time? Dexy written today. Without a doubt, the trickiest piece of furniture we purchased. The sofa that we had to cut the arm off. Yeah, do you know what though? So yeah. when I wrote that, I actually hid this gift a while, um, well, with the original gift, I hid like a week ago. Right. Or when, before we went to America, so more than that. And I actually hid it somewhere else because I thought, oh, this was an absolute nightmare. And I wrote that clue. And then when I rethought about the clue, I was like, no, actually, we've had a piece of furniture even trickier. What was Think the second trickiest? The, um, the, the leather armchair. Oh, Think about it. We had to, I had to carry a leather armchair up through a second story window. It was probably this time last year that we bought the um, sofa in the house because your dad and mum had come to drop off stuff. Pre-Christmas. I tell you what, it was another... And last Christmas, <clears throat> wasn't, wasn't it like 50-50 as to where the Christmas was going to happen? I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think last year it was debatable. I mean, look, COVID, COVID obviously... I'm sure on like the 23rd of December last year, we were weighing up whether we were still going to have Christmas here. But I don't think it was quite as tight as that. I could be corrected. Mm. Um, I think it was still touch and go for most of December. Mm. But I think it was, it was never going to be cancelled. It was more like, would we have restrictions? Yeah. Um, but because everyone, obviously people were getting unwell because of the weather and the time of year. Yeah, but so let's fo focus on the positives. This year is, feels like a much more real Christmas. Obviously there's lots of... A lot of wood. Obviously that... Well, uh, but obviously this Christmas there are other challenges with cost of living and things like this that we need to all be aware of. And we're always grateful that, um, you know, we I have... I told everyone what um, your boss recommended um, and used to do with the um, Starbucks gift cards. Yeah. And I bought 10 £10 pounds For people that are homeless. Yeah, and I gave three away. Already. Yeah. Was, good, know... good, good that you bought Pratt because if, I, if I'm honest, Starbucks is, is not a particularly nice gift. Don't rate their coffee. No. But no, no, in all, I'm joking, obviously. Pret, Pret is brilliant. No, and you have to wander around because I went to three different Prats and they didn't have gift cards. Oh, well, that's not good. So you have to go to a big Prat. Yeah, so. so yeah, well, actually, it was Toby. It wasn't my. Well, it wasn't it was my. Toby. It was Toby. Yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. It was Toby back, so it was Conter. Mm -hmm. Conter actually. And he used to have Starbucks gift cards in his in his pockets. Yeah, Christmas. I mean, he was quite passionate about things like the big issue and things like this. He he would often try and help the people selling the big issue rather than give them money because he he didn't like supporting something that was kind of. And it, obviously this is controversial, but whether the big issue is helpful or not, because it kind of, it gives someone a job to sell something, but it mm. doesn't teach them how to do anything else. Mm. So what's the, where's the stepping, know. well, it, it's like, where's the stepping stone? Uh, whereas... Anyone that's watching this <clears throat> vlog that has shopped on Oxford Street, you will know what a good salesman, the guy that sells the big issue outside John Lewis on Oxford Street is. Like, he's... Amazing. Uh, no, Every but, time I, I see him, but, but then he should be destined for more, shouldn't he? There should be a, he, like, you know, if I had a company, if we had a bigger company, how, how amazing would that be to be able to give these people opportunity to take a step into a different, a different job? But anyway, we're going well away from we topic. We are digressing. On, <clears throat> so let's, um, let's go find this then. So okay. where, where do you think the it is? The trickiest piece of furniture is the sofa with the wings, the knoll, not knoll. Yeah, I think it is called knoll, isn't it? Yeah, they added the feathers today. Wow, you have with this one. I know, but it does look fantastic. It does, it looks amazing. What I would say is the level of detail on this is extremely amazing. Yeah. And what I was chatting to the girls about is, <clears throat> in theory, this, this, this one really will just dry out and it, it could stay up for like six months, they reckon. I mean, we're not going to leave it up for six months, but I think... The one in the dining room, I think. Up like forever. Well, yeah, and this and this one because of the effort that's gone into it, and the fact that there's still living things, mm. um, even though a lot of it's been foraged, mm. I think I think we're not going to classify it as a Christmas decoration to enable us to make more of it. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think that, that, that that's a good strategy, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Right. In we go. In we go. Oh, and the wreath is up. <clears throat> they weave lights into there. No, because we didn't have the lights in time. Okay, so, maybe we can take it down and put them up again, because it's just like... What, what I will say to you is, that wreath took half an hour of me and Martin just to get it up there. And I'm not exaggerating. So... But surely now it's up, you know how to do it. No, because it's, it's, it's a bit of a nightmare, because what I... The one... Look, okay, be honest, one criticism 
is the weight distribution wasn't thought through. So there's different things on different sides of the wreath. So it really doesn't hang straight. So we had to tie the ribbon at the top tighter on one side to create the straightness. Do you see what I mean? Right. It's like hanging something that weighs more on one side. So you have to counterweigh it. I it's still it. not perfectly straight, but it's nearly perfect. It doesn't look I know what you're. It just needs to be eliminated. Well, so I would suggest we have we if we want the lights I'll in it. I'll just get a really skinny um, wire light setup. Yeah, and, and we'll put them through it. Like That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it does. To be fair, at night time the Christmas tree looks epic, and in the daytime this wreath does look epic. Oh. There we go. I I this is what I was thinking. Oh my Gosh, Nike by you. Is it Nike or Nike? It is Nike because it's uh, Nike a was the <laughs> goddess of victory. I saw something really funny. I think it was English with Lucy shared it. She was um, doing like the English language. How do you spell tour? T O U R. How do you spell tour as in tour something off? T O R E. No, it was like how do you spell T O U R is tour. P O U R is Poor. S O U R is sour. Sour. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, but like Clapham. Clapham. Yeah, but Clapham. Clapham. P H in the English language mostly means fur, but well, then in Clapham we don't know pronounce it. Yeah. The English language is it doesn't make so a lot of sense. Blame the Romans, mate. Yeah. What trainers have you got, mate? Well, so the backstory of this is obviously Simon, our PT, reckoned you needed trainers that would be a bit more sturdy for when you do weights, right? And getting good at weights now, aren't Yeah, so for squats and deadlifts and stuff. So these are basically the feminine version of mine. Um, but they've actually taken six months to arrive. Uh, six months? Oh six gosh. weeks to arrive because they're custom. Wow. They're custom they ones. Jersey. Is that marble? So I designed them for you. What? Yeah, they're custom. Oh my gosh. They've got gold. They look like um, Quidditch. Rock. Yeah, so you're, you're quite limited to... You're limited oh to certain colours in certain bits. But I thought... <laughs> and it says the chrome finish will flake off with time. Oh, does it? Oh, that's a bit annoying. Oh, um, but it wow. does, they should. They're, they're obviously white, not pink. That is um, awesome. Oh, but I'd rather I think, them be white. Yeah, I, th I think they'll work really nicely. And the point is, they've got a flat sole, so they're a lot better for squats and deadlifts. That is very cool. So they're called the Metcon. Obviously, I hope they fit. I'm pretty sure they're a three, so. I hope they're a three and a half. I don't think three and a half exists, mate. I'm I pretty sure they're a three and a half or four for trainers. Well, <laughs> they're a three, I'm sure, so that could be interesting. Oh we'll have to try gosh. them on. Come on, here's the moment of truth. Huge oh, that'll be really annoying. You I've, trainers. You've never told... I actually, I can tell you this now. I wish we had a vlog camera on constantly. I even asked you in the office, what shoe size are you getting? You said three. You didn't yeah. say, and a three and a half in trainers. Well, I would never have told you that, would I? No. Well, yeah, but... Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. It's like custom, you can't just... I can't return them, them. no. Oh. Oh no. Oh gosh. They're too tight. They're quite tight. I mean, they're okay. Mm, no. My toe is right at the end. Oh no! They are too small. Oh. Shit, that's quite uncomfortable. Oh right. darling, what are we going to do? Oh well, I will have to figure something out. The life presents you challenges. I mean, they're not going to get them before Christmas, but I will see if I can email them and see what I can do. Oh no, they're so cool with the yeah. with the gold. Well, we'll see. Anyway, well, I don't even know if three and a half exists, Josephine. Well, in trainers, I am a four. Right. Like the movie okay. Because nine and a half is a legit size in men's, but you can't get half sizes in most sizes. So you're a four, are you? I'm four in trainers and right. like wellies and stuff. I'm right. like three in high heels. Okay. You, you well, no, you're a three in in ninety percent of your shoes, actually, yeah, and you like don't wear high heels very often. So, so all your boots and everything boots. like that are all threes. Yes. Well. Oh well. Hopefully, they might be able to swap them. If there is anybody watching. <laughs> that wants no, no, we'll fig, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I might be able to. I don't know. I don't know, but the other problem is they got delivered weeks ago, so I don't know if I'm outside of the returns policy as well. Oh Who knows? We will try. Right, anyway. Oh, okay. darling. Sorry. Right. Uh, <laughs> epic fail. Not having much luck today, are we? No, it's been a bit of a crap day. Right. <laughs>